We're on. Hey, 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 beautiful spirits out there. Hope you're doing well today. It's Amy. I'm coming to you from a beautiful place in my universe. I'm bringing you lots of love, truth, and freedom today on your journey, wherever you are in this universe. Today, folks, I wanted to jump on here and share some really important information with you all that I think could help, could help you could help um, someone you may know and um, I have been using this for a few years now two to three years and I have seen amazing results um, my partner he as well does this and um, and so we're gonna dive into that it's all about your body and your higher self your higher self is your soul um, you could call it your higher self your soul um, your spirit, your over soul, and basically there's parts of you that you can't see. It's in the invisible realm. And this is your spirit self, your soul self, your higher self, your over soul. And um, we can tap into this for healing our bodies. What is um, hidden from us in the medical system is that um, we treat the physical symptoms and we're not going to the cause. And so they don't involve the spiritual realm or the soul. Um, so there's no soul in the medical system. And um, if we tap into our souls, if we use our communicate, if we communicate with our soul, if we listen to our higher self, if we go within and um, go to the cause, go to the root, and solve it. We will cure whatever we're going through. So, um, this woman by the name of Dolores Cannon, um, she passed over, but she um, was a QHHT practi practitioner, which is quantum healing hypnosis technique. And what she did, what she discovered was there's different states of our brain and in the subconscious part of our brain, the deepest, deepest part um, of our brain, what um, she could do was help heal people. They could heal themselves when they realize what the message is that was coming through. So folks, our body is a tool. It's an amazing tool. It's very intelligent and it's a gift to have a body. So the body communicates to us. And what happens is the soul uses the body as a messenger to communicate to us what we need to do in order to keep on our path, our chosen path, what, where we need to be. And so if our bodies are supposed to be working at optimal level, no pain, no discomfort at all. And so any discomfort, any pain is your higher self, your oversoul, your spirit connecting, trying to get to you, get a message to you. And we are missing the message. So when we get cancer, what, what's happened is we've pushed away the message. We didn't even know to look at the message. We didn't know we had a mental body, spiritual body, physical body, um, emotional body. And what happens is in the medical system, we focus on the physical. We focus on the symptom. We got a cancer. We got a tumor. We got to take it out. Rush, rush, rush too. We rush. We rush. Um, we're, we're rushed, and we're not supposed to be rushed. We're getting a message, and we need to pay attention. So, I, um, Delor I highly suggest looking up Dolores Cannon, and you will be blown away by how much healing can be done, and um, is done if we connect with our higher selves. And what's really, really cool, you guys, is we can be in communication with our higher self through our body as a messenger. And I've used this technique. I've had symptoms um, come up and I focus on what's going on, what's the message. When I get the message, the symptoms go away. So this really, really works. I've been using this tool now for two to three years, three years, and um, I have been extremely healthy. I've had no sickness in five years. I haven't been sick. 
Um, I get discomfort though. I do get messages. So it keeps me on track. It'll keep you on track. Um, and we need to be very open to this awareness that we are more than our body. We are infinite. We're boundless energy. And we have basically become so disconnected from our soul and our higher self. And we have not listen to the messages. So um, I want to introduce this book to you guys. This is so helpful. Um, I just actually grabbed it or um, got it a couple weeks ago, but I have been extremely interested in um, the soul and how she's contacting me. And um, so I did take a quantum healing hypnosis um, course with Dolores. It was very interesting and um, extremely helpful and powerful and an amazing healing tool for um, healing, getting information. But this book was is written by her daughter, Julia. Um, and Julia put this book together. It's called Soul Speaks. And it's all the different discomforts, ailments, diseases, cancers. And it talks about what the message is from our higher self when we have these diseases. So folks, in the medical system, they say that diseases and um, cancers, certain types of cancers, everything like that, is uncurable. And my friends, very little is uncurable. We have new cells every 30 days, every... 30 to 90 days, we have new cells, we um, have new cells all the time, and this can be f further from the truth. So be very, very, very careful when you have cancer, when you have a disease, be careful when you go to the doctors because they can't, they can't cure you, but this can. We need to get the message and then we can cure ourselves, you guys. When we hold things in, we get cancer. When we're angry and we don't express ourselves, we can get cancer. Um, so it's very, very important to know what the message is. And I'm going to go through this. And we're going to go through a few of these with you. With you and um, Because it's so fascinating. It is so fascinating, you guys. So, um, because in life... We're here to evolve. We're here to grow, evolve, and what a great opportunity to evolve. Um, so when cancer comes knocking on our door, instead of fighting cancer, we need to actually look at what is the message we're trying to get. Because they have been trying to cure cancer for 100 years, folks. They're not going to have a cure for cancer. We cure our own cancer. We have to do the work, too, though. In the medical system, they say, keep your lifestyle, you're doing whatever you're doing, and we're just going to give you a pill or do surgery or figure this out, but you just keep doing what you're doing. And unfortunately, that is not how we're going to cure disease or cure our cancers by doing the same thing. We need to change, do the research. What is my higher self trying to tell me? It's an opportunity to change, grow, and learn. And um, see miraculous miracles in our lives because miracles are real. We could see miracles every day. We are healers. All of us are. So never, never believe the um, limitless beliefs that are pushed on us. Okay, folks, because you're special and important. So. The word cancer, you guys, Julia talks about here. The word cancer strikes terror in people, right? It's, oh, you got cancer. It's the scariest word that they, they've ever, ever heard. But instead of fighting it, right, instead of fighting it, we need to, um, it's telling of us a situation that's been going on for a very long time. It's the last resort message, you guys. Cancer is the last resort message when all other attempts have failed to deliver the message. Um, our higher self has been trying to get us to go on the right course and we aren't listening. We say, oh, 
Um, if, if some you're you're supposed to be saying something to somebody, and you just push it off and push it off and push it off. Guess what? After a while, it becomes throat problems, throat cancer. When we hold things in, when we don't say what we need to say, we get sick. And this is why cancer comes about. It's because we've been ignoring signs. We've been ignoring situations and things like that. So cancer too is mostly anger. Anger towards somebody or something toward, pointed inside. So it festers and festers and festers and grows. And so the best way to get rid of cancer, folks, is to find out what it is you're angry about. What you're very angry about with an ex or a sibling or something like that and to let it go. And what's really cool is what we learned in Dor Dolores's course and we learned in this book here is when we, when we feel like we're very upset about something and we need to let it go and we can't see that person face to face or if they passed over already someone's passed over that we had um some experiences and some things need to be said but haven't we, we need to forgive that person and because when we forgive it's off our karma we forgive we've let go we've released that karma that baggage karma is like heavy baggage that we need to release and it's on them now so you can close your eyes and visualize that person ripping up a, you, and you and you ripping up a contract. It didn't work. I'm going to go my way. You're going to go your way in love. I'm going to go my way in love. And um, I love you. I release you. I let you go. And it's in this book, and it's very, very helpful. It really works. You have to really, really, really believe it. And that person can't push your buttons anymore. You release baggage. You feel lighter. And you start to heal, folks. Healing is a process. And um, it's about standing up for ourselves, loving ourselves. That's why the love illusion is so important. Because loving thyself will heal ourselves. It really will. So, uh, that was an interesting thing on cancer. I really wanted to share. And then the body part the body parts on our body are messengers or certain messages come through certain body parts the higher self the oversoul the soul is very very um simple and communicates very literal it communicates very literal okay so um we're gonna go in into a few of these <clears throat> throat stuff. You guys, this was very interesting. I've had throat stuff my whole life. Okay. So whenever the throat is being affected and if there's cancer there or anything like that, it most always is the same message. This is anything to do with the mouth, teeth, jaws, and throat. There's something important that needs to be said and you're not saying it. You're not speaking your truth. You need to speak up for yourself. When our throat is having really bad problems and we have throat cancers, that's because we have been not saying what we need to say for a long time. The higher self, it gives, after the, the cancer, is, is, it's been festering for, for a long, long, long time. Been, it, your higher self has been trying to connect to you. Okay, and what's sad is some people don't even believe in a soul, spirit, nothing. So their scientism, they have religion of scientism. And they believe that everything that they hear from the um, the industrial, you know, the um, indoctrination um, centers are telling them everything they need to know. But it's not true. Um, thyroid problems, ladies and gentlemen. I actually feel a throat clenching down to hold in what it wants to say. So we need to say how we feel and express how we feel. No need to be scared. No need to be scared. Okay, you're loved and it's very important that you do get it out, what you need to say, you guys. And this is how we heal ourselves. This is how we cure ourselves. Um, something very interesting here. Um, the ankles, legs, feet. 
all right we're not moving in the right if we have um if we have knee problems we're we're not moving in the right direction um in the direction that we need to go in, in the desired direction our knees those are our legs um shoulders arms and hands this is this is interesting something's going by i i was going through this with my um with my shoulders recently so Okay, so the subconscious is very little, literal, right? Subconscious is our subconscious brain, which is the part of us that knows, that's been, that has information from our past lives, and it has everything that we need to know about our future lives, parallel lives, everything like that. And what it's saying is if you have shoulder problems, you're carrying, carrying a heavy load, you're carrying a heavy load that's not yours. Um, I had really bad shoulders, and I was... The world and everything going on gets very heavy and it gets very frustrating. And some, I was noticing my shoulders were really starting to hurt. And um, the message I got was that I was carrying the world on my shoulder. The responsibility that people aren't aligning with truth and morality. People aren't looking into the facts or what's going on, you know. So that's, that's what I was hearing. Just kind of be kind to yourself and, you know. So arms, arms, I was going through this too, because I'm having a hard time with receiving um, abundance, right? And so I fell into the wood stove and I burnt my arm on my right side, receiving, I'm not receiving. Uh, my finger was really painful the other day and um, I got the message that I wasn't receiving. And so I'm working on that and feeling a lot of improvements going on there, you guys. So, that was pretty interesting. Back problems. These are very comfortable, very common with me, which I'm getting better. Back problems, lower back problem is not having enough support from the universe or a loved one, um, carrying a heavy load, lack of support, and also, um, to getting messages from your higher self and sitting out in nature and aligning your chakras by connecting to the earth and focusing your root chakra on the earth. You can focus on the different colors of your chakras and open it that way. That helps the base of the spine a lot, which I've found to help. Okay, folks, so now we're, we're getting into headaches. This was fascinating because I have headaches. Most headaches are the residue from the way you died in another life. This was interesting. Um, some type of blow to the head. So um, my partner and I, we haven't really been diving a whole deep into the hypnosis part. And so we're excited to do that because I want to see what happened in my past life when it came to that. But... Also, headaches can mean stress, which I stress easy. I have a high stress. Uh, I tend to stress, and so I'm working through that as well, which I'm getting through every day, getting better at it. Um, getting better at dealing with stress. So the reproductive system for women, huh? and this was very interesting. The breast, uh, the um, the cancer, uh, the bre the breast cancer, you guys. So, breast cancer comes about because we have anger be about not being nurtured, right? Not having a partner to nurture us, or having a partner and having no nurture, n having a man or a woman that's, or a man or a woman that's not being nurturing to you, and that's very important as a woman to be nurtured and loved and cared for. Right, so what we what we're having no one to nurture. Um, that's interesting too. But anyway, so anger turned inside about not being nurtured. Okay, so this is where we need to identify what are we still holding on to um, from a past relationship or even a current relationship, and let it go. Um, whether that means breaking up or removing yourself from the situation um, that was very very interesting to me because I know a lot of people with uh, with breast cancer and so we need to um, address it and fix it see if we need more nurturing in our lives or or things like that um, 
This was interesting. The male prostate, I know that's very common, that represents the man's power zone. So problems in this area indicate issues with their own sense of personal power. I thought that was interesting. There's a fear that you cannot handle the power or responsibility. So see how we can we can fix any of these by by actually facing our fears head on and and getting the message. Okay folks, because I haven't been to the doctors, the mainstream medical and a while. And I used to get every vaccine I could. I used to go in for my yearly thing, this and that. And my goodness, I've seen so much improvement in my health. I trust my higher self, my oversoul, my spirit, my subconscious. I trust my body. I trust that my spirit is trying to keep me on the path where I'm supposed to be going. And after I've aligned with natural law, you guys, objective re morality and truth, um, I have seen amazing results in my health, and um, that is the real wealth, folks. Everyone's so worried about money, and money is, money is everyone's religion, and everything else gets pushed aside. Mental health, physical health, emotional health, spiritual health, and... Um, it's so important to be connected to our higher selves if we want to heal. I didn't know about this five years ago, and I'm so glad I know about it now. I wanted to share it with you guys, how I connect with my higher self through my body. It's using my body as a messenger, messenger to keep me on the right path, you guys. And that is connecting to my higher self. That's the goal is to become a better person every day and to try to um, learn more and grow and share. That's uh, the end that's the, the, the end of the trivium. The, the last part of the trivium is to share what we have learned because if we don't share we can't grow because we're supposed to be able to explain it to a five-year-old, and if we can't, then we don't know or understand what we're talking about. So, so I really, really wanted to go over this. I thought it was so fascinating, this book, because I got a little taste of it in my um, course. I got a little bit. So, we're going to go through a few more of these, you guys, because this is so, so amazing and so empowering. And so, um, so empowering, you guys, to say no to the medical system. No to the people that want to inject me with whatever that is. No, I'm going to do my own healing. I trust myself and I will heal myself with my thoughts, right, behaviors, and Yes, thoughts, behaviors, and actions. Thoughts, emotions, and actions. Because our thoughts are very important too, you guys. Our thoughts. We can have negative thought patterns that cause a lot of stress. And stress can really make us sick. We're not supposed to be in a stressful environment. We're not supposed to be um, always stressed. The stress response isn't always supposed to be going, going, going. Our natural state is relaxation, relaxation. And what happened was um, people judge each other if they're relaxing or if they're not working their ass off because money is everyone's religion. And um, money, and religion means to hold back, though. So just because you have a ton of money doesn't mean you work on yourself spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Doesn't mean you've been physically working on yourself so there are many 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 things that we need to be working on okay so um oh, i thought this was the ankle problem not being flexible and moving in a new direction Okay, I've had that. Um, anxiety, not trusting in the universe, higher self. 
anxiety um, comes about because we don't trust ourselves. I've been there, still get anxious um, because I don't trust the universe sometimes, but I'm learning to really trust the universe and my higher self. So think of your higher self, your oversoul, as seeing she or he sees where you're supposed to be going. And you're down here. This is our lower self. But our higher self can see the picture, the big picture. And we can tap into our higher self at any time. And, and when you know you're tapping in your higher self, you start to get what I call the truth bumps. And your body starts to tingle all over. You become very connected to your true self, the invisible self that you can't see. And um, it's amazing to start to trust that. To start to trust that, folks. So a video today about our bodies and our higher selves and how our bodies are using being used as a messenger from our higher self. And these are what turn into the messages. If we don't listen to them, they turn into cancers, disease, um, abscess, ankle problems, soreness, uh, pain, discomfort. So extremely empowering, extremely beneficial if we can trust and learn and read books and um, have faith in alternative ways to heal you guys breast problems issues with nurturing not being nurtured um bruises you guys this was crazy bruises i used to get a lot of bruises not paying attention to self and i remember when i was getting bruises i was being a little more careless um not paying attention as much and so, um, or drinking maybe too much, not eating it well enough, not eating healthy, not giving my body nutrition. So, burns, urgent message. And I got the urgent message the other day. Pay attention. The location of the burn will give more insight as to the message. Mine was my arm. Oh, and very important, you guys. This is a cool little tip. When you are feeling discomfort or anything like that in your on your body, what you can see um, or what you can feel in your body, the right side of your body is something in, is happening in this lifetime that you need to fix, you need to address, you need to face. Left side is past lifetime or, um, yeah, past lifetime. So that was kind of interesting because past lifetimes, you guys, are happening right now. Everything's happening right now. There's no such thing as time. Leave it up to humans to create time, but there's no such thing as time. So everything is happening in the now. And so past lives and all that, traumas from past lives get carried over because it's all part of you, you guys. You are an amazing, boundless spirit, and you've been to so many places. You've... Um, collected so many um, different lessons and all sorts of stuff so and whatever you learn here you guys you take with you so it's never a waste to learn it's actually extremely beneficial to you and to everybody around you because everything you do ripples into the galaxy it ripples into the galaxy and it affects everyone so never ever 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 forget that Cold, need to make a decision and not doing so. Feeling sorry for self, overworked and needing to rest. Pretty literal. <laughs> ear, ear problems. Having issues with hearing from others or ourselves. See the little literal messages. Eye problems, inability or refusal to see things as they really are or not wanting to look at something. Wow. So see how there's so many ways for us to get in contact with the higher self because there's so many different reasons why she's she or he are trying to contact you. Um, headaches, pressure, stress in this life or from past life trauma. Mm-hmm. I've had headaches. 
need to work on that, which I am. I've come a long ways with my headaches. Trying to trust the universe, trust that everything is in is working out and will work out and will continue to work out for us all. Legs, I talked about that. That's the part of you. The legs, part of the body that moves you and carries you forward. Knees, resistance to move in your direction, your desired direction in life. Hmm. So, I mean, it just keeps going on and on. There's so many different messages that have uh, come through. And Julia collected these messages from her mom's practice and from her practice and then put them in a book. So these have been collected for 40 years or so. It's extremely helpful. Um, urinary, urinary tract infections. You need to release a toxic situation from your life. Stomach problems, holding in your emotions in and not releasing them, not able to stomach something. So, so extremely beneficial, you guys. Um, how our higher selves deliver messages to us through our physical bodies to keep us on our chosen path, path of development. Um, when we're living true, we have no pain, no discomfort, and, um, and just working on ourselves. It's a constant, 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 constant thing to work on ourselves. And, um, wow. Check out the lake, you guys. I love you so much. Please comment below if you've been using this tool to help you get, um, get pain-free and, uh, work on getting healthy. How has that been going? Do you communicate with your higher self? And, um, yeah, keep it real. Keep loving thyself. Thank you to all getting our superfood. If you haven't, check us out, lovevolution.net. Check out our superfood, all-in-one natural supplement, Dr. Sebi inspired. Um, just three ingredients and um, boost your immunity, energy, all in one. It's powerful, folks. I've been on it. We've been on it for two years now. Um, so it's great. We, we love you. Check out our t-shirts, Know Thyself. We got Love Thyself and beautiful hats, you guys. Thank you for spreading the love illusion. We couldn't do it without you. And um, if you feel compelled, check out our website. We have a lot of information on there, a lot of true speakers. Check it out. Get into that knowledge. You deserve it. Peace, love, truth for all. Freedom for all. Love you. Peace.